Hey, everybody. Hi, welcome. Hey, Melvin. Hi, Wilbur. How are you? I'm oh, good. Happy Small yeah. Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for our first stab at a live virtual holiday pop-up. Yes. <laughs> so um, my name is Wilbur. And I'm Velvet. And we started Black Accessory Designers Alliance in 2015 in order to rally the troops, so to speak. We wanted to create a platform for Black accessory designers and des um, accessory designers of color to come together and get noticed and sell and learn and grow and create community. And so this, given our pandemic situation is our first time doing a virtual pop-up and we're so glad i'm excited <laughs> very excited yeah, i'm very excited this is great this is so the world we're in. Of fantastic um accessory designers um jewelry bags um velvet has amazing pieces that she sells with her shop and it's just going to be dope, just dope. Yeah. So um, what else should we tell them before we move on, Velvet? Well, the whole goal is, um, in general, for Small Business Saturday is to reinforce um, the economy, especially for small businesses. Sometimes small businesses get left out and due to the big market stores like, you know, the Walmarts and Macy's and Targets, sometimes our smaller brothers and sisters get left behind. So please, if you can, we need you to shop today. And most of us are out here and we're showcasing our stuff. And let's not forget the whole goal for today is to shop, shop, shop. So I bye hope you find, excuse me? Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, bye, 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 shop, shop, shop. We need you guys to help bring in some black businesses, some um, dollars, and feed your dollars to black businesses rather. And so I hope you love all of the stuff that we have today, our amazing pieces, great stocking stuffers. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, guys, if you see anything you like, just tap on any of those links that you see, go and purchase from our designers today, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, this evening. <laughs> Websites are 24 hours, guys. So, right. so without further ado, let's uh, introduce our first, first designer, Miss Chantel yeah. of Doray Unlimited. Yeah. Hi, Chantel. Hi, it's so good to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you took the time to join us today. Um, my name is Chantel Mickens. I'm the designer, the maker. Um, the administrator and the owner of Dore Unlimited, a, 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 land, a line of uh, genuine leather handbags, which I, as I said, design and craft myself each piece. Um, everything is one of a kind. I usually would um, design my pieces and make two and three of each style. And then afterwards, the, all the styles are available um, special order, which usually takes about two to three weeks. Um, right now, I'm going to give you a quick view of some of the pieces that I have available now that are ready to ship. Um, it's Small Business Saturday and uh, site-wide, I have a discount of 40% off all items. Um, and that is for Small Business Saturday only. There will be additional discounts on the site until December 13. Um, so hopefully you guys be some excited at, at the work that I have that I'm going to share with you today and do some shopping. Um, sure, promise you, you'll be very satisfied. I'm just going to step back a little bit so I could show you. Most of my work, um, you'll notice as mine, where I like to use stripes. Um, Somehow I always come back to that. And um, you'll find in my work a lot of stripes and, and lines. 
uh, sometimes straight up and down, sometimes not. Um, this is one of my crossbody bags. It's a genuine leather cowhide from Spain with brass detailing. And the hand cut leather fringe is eight inches long. Adjustable shoulder strap. And a finely detailed lining. This cross bag has four pockets, one on the exterior and three on the interior. And this style, as I said, is ready to ship. Also, in my stripe line, I have this rustic brown leather in shades of taupe and gold with the brown and the shoulder strap is accented with the gold all handcrafted finely detailed interiors This one is, is one of uh, my pretty popular styles. I've gotten this requested over and over again. Um, it's the gold Napa leather with the rustic brown detail and a band of genuine snake skin. So as long as this skin is available to me, um, this style is available. And again, it, it's one of my top requests. <laughs> This one has a red satin lining and a detachable adjustable shoulder strap and ready to ship. How am I on time, guys? You're good. All right. So I will keep going. When I say stripes not necessarily straight sometimes this happens i just like to do this and um this is one of my tote bags it's a heavy duty leather tote it's not lined um 16 inches wide and um 18 inches tall and it has a pocket on the interior and will serve you while traveling or commuting if we ever start doing that again. But um, all really good quality heavy duty leather and pretty. I also have that tote in black, another raw tote with random stripes the stripes are patent leather it's trimmed in an animal print ribbon patent leather sides again this bag is not lined it's a huge tote very lightweight it's just the skin This piece, this is just a unique, one of a kind, sort of a style that I was just sampling with. I haven't made another yet. It was a really, really difficult to execute, but it's black leather with the band of red on the shoulder strap. And the shoulder strap is removable. Your sides are adorned with studs and rings. And what's really unique here is the way it opens. You have, it's sort of a box top. So it opens here. You've got zippers on the two sides and it 
just carries really cute. And as usual, it's lined with a top quality material and just really nice, vibrant pattern. This is definitely a one of a kind. Um, it was difficult and very time consuming. So these will likely be special order only after this one. <laughs> the last piece I'm going to show you is um, sort of a segue into our next round later on. This year, I decided to um, create some pieces with some cowhide. So I have the black and white cowhide. There's my stripe with some studs in it. It just, I just felt like putting a stripe there. And on the back, it's got an exterior pocket and three more interior pockets with the animal print lining. This is a heavy duty cotton lining. And her shoulder strap also has the cow fur. Nice wide, soft carrying crossbody. So I have a few more pieces that um, I'll bring out the next round. Um, hopefully you like what you saw today and you'll go to www.doreunltd.com and grab your, your bag. Um, thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. And um, back to you, Wilbur and Velvet. That was wonderful. Oh my goodness, that was fabulous, Chantel. So, um, Chant that was Chantel, as she explained, um, makes everything by hand. Everything is by hand. Her yeah. work is exquisite, meticulous, and fabulous. I hope that you will support this sister for the holiday season. You will not be able to find these bags anywhere else. So who's next, not Velvet? Not one. Nope. Oh, my man, my guy, my Sagittarius brother. He handcrafts amazing, amazing pieces by hand. I'm actually wearing one of his pieces today. I'm just such a super fan of Lamont Ray Handmade. Hey, Lamont. Hi, Lamont. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yes. Welcome back. Mm. 
Belum mat. Selamat. <laughs> Good. So my name is Lamont Ray. Um, I am the owner and the designer of Lamont Ray Handmade. Sorry for the technical difficulty. Um, and I started Lamont Ray Hand a little more than four years ago. Uh, the, and the brand is really going to different, you know, stores and markets and being, a, you know, a male and um, looking for very uh, one of a kind, unique, uh, eccentric and uh, Yes. Um, you know, little tech bug going on. So Wilbur and I are coming. We're gonna come back to Lamont. Yes. Yes. We okay. want to keep moving. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. So um, we're gonna uh, talk about our amazing next designer, Mr. Sebastian of Boy Beads. Okay. So I, I love Sebastian. I love Boy Beads. Hey, Sebastian. Hey, I'm wearing mine. <laughs> wearing mine too. We should all be wearing boy beads. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I really, really appreciate everything. I am outside in the backyard right now, so I hope there isn't too much road traffic going by. If there is, please just let me know and I can cut it short. I am Sebastian Mitchell Tarver, the founder of Boy Beads. I started this company back in November of 2011. It all started just as a hobby. I grew up in the country and um, I would collect rocks and arrowheads, flint, all types of stones. And I never really thought it would turn into a business later on in life. So I actually went to school for business. And um, after working in the industry for a few years, I got totally burned out with the corporate structure. <laughs> And I started with one bracelet, and then I had friends who wanted to order them, and it picked up from there. So from 2011 till now, I've been doing this as my full-time job, and um, I don't want to look back. Um, every collection is different, so every season I will choose a different crystal based on the energy of that season or like what the goal is. Every different crystal is formed under different conditions and in different parts of the world. So they each are used for different purposes. I know some people want them just for the color, you know, to match an outfit, to match shoes. And um, that's fine too. But other people use them for healing or for spiritual purposes as well. There's also a different crystal that's associated with each zodiac sign. So based on the placement of the stars when you were born, you can look that up online to find out what crystals can help you to um, balance energetically, to balance chakras, and um, to help improve your life if you're interested in that. And I understand a lot of people are not, and that's cool too. Um, every season, I, as I said before, I will choose a stone kind of as the, the basis for the whole collection. And this season, it is green aventurine and green quartz. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you some of the collection. And this isn't everything. On my website, boybeads.com, I have over 200 different bracelets and necklaces. Obviously, I didn't bring them all out here today because they are each made to order for every customer. 
and um, I do everything myself. I don't have, um, you know, a team overseas making them in a sweatshop. Everything is done right here in America, handmade for every customer. So sometimes during the busier seasons, it can take a, a couple of days. I try to get things shipped out within two days, though, after you order, just because they're all made to order for every customer. So as you can see, the beads are on a elastic cord, so they are made to stretch over your hand and wrist. So because of that, they need to be customized for every customer. So if you're ordering these as a gift, you need to know the wrist size of the recipient so that it fits well. The first one I'm gonna show you is Green Aventurine and Taiwan Jade. So the crystals have a meaning based on the composition of the crystal as well as the color. So usually green crystals represent prosperity, wealth, and money. So obviously I get a lot of requests for green crystals. So green aventurine is one, the green jade here, also um, green quartz on this bracelet. It's green quartz, tiger's eye we wear for protection, and then black onyx we wear to absorb negativity and direct it away from us. So if you kind of live or have to deal with toxic environments, black onyx is great as a protection or black tourmaline because as we know black is the darkest color and it absorbs energy and it absorbs everything else in the light spectrum so black tourmaline has been highly requested lately because um, tourmaline stones are a little bit heavier than black onyx and they're kind of a higher quality because they're harder to mine and they have a heavier weight. So um, in the past, I got a lot of requests for larger size beads. So the ones I'm showing you now are six millimeters. And when I say six millimeter, that refers to the size of each bead. So if you see, these are small beads. And then the next size up would be eight millimeters. So they're um, a medium size. And then the next would be 10 millimeters, which is this one. So they're a little bit bulkier. And then if you like really large ones, 12 millimeters. So they are more chunky and make more of a statement. So there's something different for a different. Did we lose, did we, did we lose, uh... Sebastian? I, I think we lost Sebastian. Oh, sorry. Yes. Well, Sebastian? Am I back? You're back. Okay. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm on the boondock, so my, my signal can be a little low. Um, so I'll just show you the smaller six millimeter beads. So this is a bracelet I released a few weeks ago, and they have a little Basquiat-ish <laughs> crown. And again, these are the six millimeter. So these are really small beads. So if you're buying a gift for someone who doesn't like bulky, chunky, heavy jewelry, then these could be a really good option. And these are also popular for um, people who like to wear accessories to work that won't be too bold or be too distracting. So they're safe for work more so than some of the other ones. I'd also like to show you a bespoke one-of-one one necklace that I did today, actually right before the show. So these are special beads that came from Tibet. So each of these is handmade. If you can see, I'm trying to zoom in a little close. So they have lapis, red coral, and brass inlay. So these stone chips are placed by hand and the brass is molded around them. So I have a variety of tiger's eye, horn, 
lapis lazuli from Afghanistan, and then of course the Ganesh elephant, and then the ruby red symbolizes the third eye chakra activation. So it's just something that you wear to um, invoke higher consciousness and pr protection. And this one is a one of one. It is already on my website. So when it's gone, it's gone. These are things that I can't make anymore. And then here's another one of one that I did just for the holidays. So this one is um, the eye of protection or the eye of providence inside of a pyramid. So again, it's something that you just wear for protection, or if you're not spiritual, you can just wear it or buy it for someone because you like the way it looks. And then the stone here, again, is a dark green jasper stone. So jasper, again, is associated with the root chakra, and then green is for protection and prosperity. All of my findings are sterling silver. So if you look at the end, it is a 15 millimeter lobster clasp and these are built to withstand up to 40 pounds of weight or force. So they're very high quality. I do have free shipping in the U.S. So if you order on my website, waybeats.com, everything will ship free, um, first class or priority. And we also have a sale online. So if you use the coupon code ATLAS, A-T-L-A-S, you can get 20% off your order. And I guess that'll be it for now. Thank you all for tuning in. Everything is online at boybeads.com. Thank you, Sebastian. I'm loving that scenery. That was Thank awesome. <laughs> so, Wilbur, I'm really excited because, um, oh, sorry, I'm actually excited because the next person that I'm going to be introducing is my partner in crime, my work wife, and I love, 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 love me some SK Wilbur. So please welcome SK, the man behind SK, Wilbur Pack Jr. Hey everybody, I'm so glad and so excited to be here. Today, for today only, I am offering up to 50% off on select bags, many of them on the website, www.skwilbur.com. If you see something you like here, or if you just wanna to go to the site and shop, please go www.skwilbur.com. So today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about inspiration. And these bags, are from previous collections, and there's always a story behind each collection. So truth is part of the authentic collection. It's a large shoulder bag, and it's actually hashtag truth. And this um, collection I did um, a little while ago, and it was really my response to um, the kind of meanness that I saw going on in the world. I wanted to um, just get out my emotions. And so the authentic collection was about the lies that were coming out of the White House. And it was about some of the people doing like mean things to their fellow human beings. Now, when I do these collections, it really is an emotion-based um, inspiration. That's the impetus behind a lot of the collections. Um, the colorways are things that I think about are that speak to my spirit. And so this one is a white cowhide leather large shoulder bag and it features truth, hashtag truth in bold black lettering and it's all leather, hand cut and these are the POW symbols in a fuchsia and a cobalt. On the back, it has the POW symbol also and a pocket, sideways pocket that you can use to um, put a lot of stuff in actually. I like to carry a lot of stuff. And so you'll find that a lot of my bags 
are kind of big. So here is my so fly bag. This is a pebbled leather cowhide. Um, I hand painted the so fly on and the straps are made out of um, nylon and feature my logo as Kay Wilbur, New York. There's a pocket in the back and it is a recessed zipper bag. Because sometimes you don't really want to see the zipper and I got it stuffed. There's pocket on the inside so you can carry your most important stuff. And um, this bag was part of the um, fashion um, future past collection. And this one I paid homage to um, hip hop, to 90s style. And so that's why it features this kind of slogan, so fly, because I know that's what I was back in the 90s. Um, there are other pieces from the authentic collection that I have today. This is Like for Likes. Um, and on the other side, it says real, because anybody who gets the blue check on Instagram, their um, Instagram handle almost always starts with real, like the real Mary J. Blige. And so this was a tongue in cheek um, take on, you know, Instagram culture, like the likes and real. This is a cobalt blue canvas and the lettering and the patches are done in leather. Everything is hand cut. So that check is hand cut. Everything is stitched on by hand. And then we have this really fabulous, fabulous patterned lining. Isn't that just delicious? Don't you just love it? It carries a multitude of things. Um, there's two pockets on the inside. And um, I think people will stop you on the street if you like to be the center of attention, you need to be carrying SK Wilbur. But they will stop you on the street and um, ask you about your like for likes or your real. On this side, we have my Dope AF convertible tote and backpack. Dope AF, I think most of you know what AF stands for. <laughs> but um, I had done the Dope AF uh, tote before this one, and it was done in canvas with leather lettering. And um, this one, I decided to go a little bit more luxe. And so this is cowhide, and it features all of these hand cut details, the POW symbol, stars. On the back, we have more pow, little rainbow, stars. It's just quite luxurious, but kind of funky and hip. I would say that's me. I'm luxurious, but funky and hip. These bags are up to 50% off. Don't forget, you can shop them on www.skwilber.com. And here we have one of my favorite pieces. This is a puffy quilted denim knapsack. It says WTF with question mark. This is from my anger management collection. And um, this was reflective of the times with Trump in the White House. I'm not gonna hide that um, he is not one of my favorite people. And um, I just was feeling very angry. And so out of that anger came this collection called 
anger management. This collection was probably one of my most fun collections to do. Um, like I said, it's puffy, so it's quilted throughout. It features a um, khaki lining, which is a lot of fun. So it gives you Americana in a way. I mean, WTF, how American is that? Because it's all on Instagram. And the um, straps in the back are reinforced with leather. There's a lot of leather detail on, on this bag as well. Here we have another style from the Future Past collection. It's hand cut fringe along the sides. That is a lot of work. That fringe cutting is no joke, guys. Um, hand painted. Then it features the little closure that has the nylon with my logo going around. It's a snap closure. On the inside, we have one pocket. It's like a mini tote, but it's so cute. It's so chic. I painted the POW symbol on the back because word, word up. Um, it just speaks to me. It just speaks to me about my younger days and being a young adult in the 90s. So this is also part of the authentic collection. It's hand painted and then the letters are hand cut and then I stitch them on. Everything is leather. Um, then there's a pocket in the back. Nice deep pocket too. It's a snap closure and it has a pocket on the inside with the funky lining. You can carry it as a toast or you can carry it as a crossbody. It's all very chic, very young, very fabulous, very stylish, very with it. Here's a fun, fun piece. This also is from the um, the uh, authentic collection. This is Instagram versus reality. How many times have we seen that hashtag? Um, my life is exactly like Instagram. <laughs> and um, this is an olive green canvas. The base is suede and it's so nice to the touch. The leather, the letters are cut out in leather. And I did this orange and fuchsia pop just to make it stand. Um, the lining is a red canvas, rolled, bright. Did I say rolled? I think I meant bold and bright and wonderful and fabulous. So some of you may not know that I started in women's wear um, several years ago and I transitioned to bags and this is my passion. And I hope that you will support me if you have not, or you will continue to support me. Um, I've been doing the bags for about eight years now. And um, I think that they're really a different type of style. Some, some of you it may not be for you, and some of you may gravitate towards it, but it's definitely an attention grabber. And um, I hope that you'll support. Um, once again, my website is www.skwobo.com. These bags are up to 50% off on the website. Um, please go there, peruse, browse, shop, buy, click that button and um, make your purchase. So I just want to say in closing, thank you so much. And I will see you again in my next, um, my next um, segment. So um, yes, we're coming back to Velvet. Hey.
Oh, wow, Wilbur. You know, those bats have always been my favorite. Um, they, that line is just so unapologetically angry. <laughs> <laughs> that was an angry line, and I love it. <laughs> but not really angry in a bad way, but like it was just such a statement piece, and that's what you're known for. But you know who else has amazing Ooh. statement pieces? <clears throat> Chad, oh, yes. about Evelyn? Yes, Everett Bags of Pure Genius. Love her. <laughs> well, we have, yes, we love her. Here she comes. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, this is the start of a new talk show, The Wilbur hey, and Velvet I'm Show. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank you guys. Thank you for, um, you know, allowing me to be a part of this. This is, this is great. I think in the times we're in now, um, you know, this is the, the best way for us to get our products out. And I just want to um, thank everyone for tuning in. I also want to reiterate what my fellow um, colleagues and designers have said about supporting small business, but also supporting black owned businesses, because that's extremely important um, because somehow a lot of small businesses um, like myself and, and others get sort of lost in the sauce. And there are some really cool things. And I know we get caught up in the, the um, mainstream of things, but we also have to remember to support our own. So I am here to support my fellow designers as well as showcase some of the things that I started. My business is um, Everett Handbags of Pure Genius in genius spelled J-E-A-N-I-O-U-S, uh, mainly because the long and the short of it is um, a girlfriend of mine some over 10 years ago had a really cute clutch bag made out of uh, jeans and I thought it was cute and I decided to make my own for fun and fun turned into making it for a business. So I decided to create um, handbags out of recycled jeans. I'm going to, well was, um, going to thrift stores and things like that, but now um, friends are sending me their old jeans, jeans they can't fit into, jeans they don't want to be bothered with, whatever it is. And I am creating, um, I think, some cool designs out of it, some designs I've not seen before. Um, these, I feel like my bags are bags that can be used. You can dress them up or down. You can use them for work. You can use them for play. You can use them for whatever you want. And I'm going to start out with showing you um, the one of the first oversized clutch bags that I made. This is made out of old jeans, as I said. You know, I guess a large size jean I picked. It also has um, printed lining. It also has uh, pockets inside for your cell phone or whatever, your keys or whatever you'd like to put in. It's a very deep lining. Um, a zipper up here along with a, um, along with a ankle, I'm sorry, ankle, a wrist handle if you want, or you can just hold it like this or hold it under your arm if you choose. Back pocket has a little jammy jam on the back, make it look cute. Um, but again, you can use this for however you want, um, dressing up, dressing down, um, work, play, whatever you want. Um, there are also different variations of this bag. So I started creating them not only in denim, but in leather as well. Um, this is my uh, fanny pack, which I actually started creating last year. This is something you can wear. I'll stand up a little bit so you can see. You can wear it across your waist if you choose. You can wear it as a cross bag if you want to. You can wear it as a shoulder bag if you choose. It's whatever your mood is that day. Um, again, all my bags are handmade and custom Ordered. So if you see something here that you like, um, you can check my Instagram for the pictures, but you can also send me a message to Instagram. My Instagram is Evriv and tell me which one you liked and I will definitely give you a good price on what it is that you saw. I can make them in whatever color leather you like, um, or you can I can try to find the leather that I'm showing you here. A lot of these are sort of one-offs, so sometimes the leather isn't available, but if it isn't, I will try to find something as close to the color you see as possible so we can always make it happen. And I'm always very big into contrast. Like this run right now is pretty um, conservative, but I would normally put sort of a contrasting color against this particular blue leather or any color leather. Um, this one doesn't have a lining, but it does have a zipper for closure. So you don't have to feel like anything's gonna fall out. And again, right around your waist, of course, cross shoulder. Um, another variation of the fanny pack is um, my blue camo fanny pack. And on the back is where you can put in the belt that can go across your, your waist or your shoulder, but you can also use it as a clutch if you don't want to be bothered with the fanny pack. Or if you're out during the afternoon and you're like, hey, I'm going in the evening, I need to hurry up and change this to an evening bag. There you go. You have your evening bag. 
This one doesn't have a zipper, it's just straight open, but it can have a zipper put on or a snap or whatever you'd like. Um, and again, I do have um, other variations. This is one of my favorites. This is made out of recycled jeans again. Um, my elongated sort of clutch camo. Um, this elongated because my signature usually is sort of a um, angled kind of asymmetrical um, overlap, overflap uh, for a cover. I usually try to keep the leather um, in its natural state, so I will cut on whatever angle that leather is, is sort of leaning towards and use that as my cover or my flap for my, um, for my bags. And this bag, again, um, has a very cool lining inside. Um, it can have a zipper put in, but the extra added piece of this, you can have, it has a wrist strap that you can hold it. Again, I'll stand up a little bit. You can hold it this way if you choose, so you can actually have a real secure way of making sure your stuff is in and the bag is close to you. Or you can hold it um, like any other clutch bag, you know, under your arm. Again, this is another piece that you can dress up or down. I think it's really cool. And a lot of my pieces sometimes come out of accidents, and this is one of those. Um, and the accidents turned out to be really cool. So that's one of my favorites. Uh, another variation of a clutch that I made, this is a little bit different because I usually use grommets or some type of um, hardware on this one, but this is a piece of leather I saw and I thought it was just really beautiful. So I sort of kept it very straight and conservative. Um, again, it has a zipper. I love the color, sort of like a beige vanilla. Um, there's no lining in this one, I kept it raw, but again, if you want the lining that can be added, but this I thought was very cool. Um, again, small, put it under your arm, you can keep it moving that way. Um, another variation, um, we can go a little smaller right now. We have all leather, Another little sort of variation on a fanny pack, but it's not. It's actually just a very small purse. Um, again, this has a lining and a little magnet closure. So like this, the lining, again, with the contrast, I put a burgundy polka dot lining inside, which I thought was pretty cool. Then flaps over. The leather is extremely soft, black leather. This is ready to be sent out if this is something that you like. And as a little added extra design, if you want to add your key or something to it, you can. If not, it's just, I thought it was just really cute and cool to hold on to have a little grab it on the end and a little kind of key ring just to give it a little something something. Um, another variation I have is, and I have this one on, is sort of a little small. It's not a fanny pack, but it's a pack you can, a little purse you can put around a belt if you still wear belts or anything that's around your waist. It's very small, so you can put maybe a couple of credit cards, some money, if you just run into the store or just don't want to have anything in your hand, and you can just fold this flap over the belt and keep it moving. And this gives it a little bit of an exaggeration. Keep it moving. I think that was, and that again, custom made. I can make it in any color. I do have um, one here that's ready to be sent. So if you're interested in it, it also has a lining, contrasting orange um, polka dot lining. I don't know if you can see that really well. I have a lot of stuff stuffed in here. Um, but there's the lining right there. And again, I also um, have a very small, um, I saw, I thought this was very girly, and I wanted to put a little handle on this one. Um, and this is my little girly purse. I put um, sort of a hat pin in to give it a little something, something here. Um, leopard cow skin um, or leopard, bin, leopard skin lining or not lining, um, cover. And this also has a lining inside. Again, a contrast, a paisley contrast lining inside. And this is something, again, daytime, nighttime, whatever you want. You can basically put it on your wrist. You can hold it as a clutch if you choose. It can go over your shoulder, but if you have on something that's pretty thick, it, it may not go over. So I would just definitely hold it in my hand or just hold it, you know, under my arm as so. Um, and I also started making um, small little business card holders. So I actually use one for my Metro card and my business cards and things like that. So again, these are ready to go out if you're interested in these. This is a black leather with green um, threading, and this is a um, sort of an iridescent blue leather. Um, again, contrast lining inside as well. Um, that, I'm very good on that. This one has a contrast lining inside as well. So um, I have some other pieces that I can show you, but I think um, I'm probably talking really fast, but I think I want to save them for um, my next segment because they're really cool and I think you'll like them. Um, one last thing I will share is that um, I started recently making um, throw pillow um, insert covers. So this is, you can put your throw pillow inside. There's a little pillow inside there. Um, I don't make the pillow inserts. You'd have to have your own insert, but this is a cover that you can put over 
um, any pillow you can interchange. So I have this one I happen to have made. I have it on my bed along with a bunch of other throw pillows. Um, these again, custom made. If this is something you're interested in, you know, please hit me up on Instagram and we can talk and I will definitely give you a good pricing for it. And um, I think I hopefully did I go over time, guys, or are we are we good? You got more time. Oh, I got more time. Okay, so <laughs> so why don't why don't I, oh okay, little well, dog. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you um, actually some of the smaller ones. This is another denim little wrist sort of wristlet uh, purse. Again, if you just run into the store really quickly, um, this has a zipper and a lining inside. Beautiful contrast lining inside. Um, so again, very small, put cards, Metro cards, some money in it, hold it in your hand, you keep it moving. I have this one ready to go. It is a um, green leather cowhide and then denim. Uh, the other one I have here is all leather. This is brown with a little like light brown, dark brown leather. Um, again, lining inside, contrasting lining, which I thought was really cool. It gives it a little pop. So those are ready to go if this is what you're interested in as well. And again, another variation I have is, oh, actually, I also make um, tote bags, leather tote bags in this picture. I didn't pull this out because it's sort of buried in my closet, but I do do leather tote bags um, ready to order. This one happens to be one of the first ones I made. It's um, black leather with denim pockets added. I added a little um, leather, orange leather sort of tassels to hang down and give it a little pop. Um, this also has a lining. Again, let me know if that's something you're interested in as well. And um, the last thing I will show you um, in this segment, I believe, is just, again, another variation of one of the smaller bags. This one, I decided to just throw some paint on it because I was just feeling a painty mood and it was white and I was like, it needs something. So I threw that on. This has a contrast lining of a navy blue, which I thought was really cool. Again, no zipper on this one because I'm. it depends on how the mood is, but I can add a zipper. I can add a snap if it's something that interests you. So please let me know. But I have, um, this one is ready to order because I only made one of these, but I can custom make this for you as well. Um, so I think um, I will save the rest for the next segment unless I got more time here. Um, you have two minutes, but if you want, <laughs> we could just jump in. Well, over. no, well, in, in, the, in the two minutes, I will say, um, you know, thank you. I, I appreciate um, those who are tuning in. As I said, please, please, please continue to support small businesses, black owned businesses, um, especially these designers here. I think Wilbur and Velvet are amazing and they're doing something amazing to help um, our community as well. Um, they're all, everyone is an amazing designer. So please, please, by all means, support us where you can. Share, let us know, let your friends know, you know, that we're out here. Bada is a great organization. Um, I'm working to get some friends that I know that have their own businesses involved in it as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you buy and shop and, and see some things that you like through all of us. And I'm turning it back over to Wilbur and, and Fabulous Velvet. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Your bags are amazing. You know, that white one that's painted, that you hand painted, I absolutely love. I love that bag. Um, so next up, we have Velvet Latimer, who is the owner of the Dazzling Accessories Boutique. When I met her about five years ago, she had her space in Dumbo, Brooklyn. And we were both struggling with our individual businesses and I said, well, what can we do to team up and elevate ourselves, amplify our business voices? And we came up with Bada. And I said, you know, we can't be the only ones out here struggling. There's got to be other people who look like us, who work like us, who are struggling as well. And that was the idea and the inspiration behind establishing Black Accessory Designers Alliance. Now, it was my idea, but I came to Velvet and she sort of just jumped right in. And, you know, it was, it was <laughs> baptismal by fire. 
at any rate, I just want to say that she still has her business. She still has Bedazzling Accessories Boutique. It's no longer in Dumbo. It's now all online. You can go to bedazzlingaccessories.com and buy wonderful things, handcrafted things by people that look like us. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Velvet so she can talk about Bedazzling Accessories. Okay, y'all hear me now? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, I lost my steam. But anyway, thank you, Wilbur Wake. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What I was saying while I was on mute was that I'm so glad that Wilbur entered my life because what an amazing experience it has been um, being a part of Bada and just running this race with uh, Wilbur. When I started my business, the Dazzling Accessories, in 2007, um, I was basically looking for a way to showcase black entrepreneurs that are actually um, designers, accessory designers at that. And I had so many friends that were struggling and trying to get a place for their uh, pieces to be shown. And, you know, there's just not a lot of boutiques that are easy to just open the doors to black and brown designers. So... When I opened the doors to my store in 2011, I thought, why not make this be a space where I can have a lot of my friends who happen to be beautiful accessory designers and they're all black and all brown. Why not have, why don't I be the space instead of them running around going to, trying to get into Saks, trying to get into these other little boutiques in Soho. Um, I could be the voice right here in Dumbo. And so I've grown to having over 50 designers within my boutique and everyone is like wonderful and I'm almost like the godmother, I say, or mama bear for all my designers. So, and I love them all. So some of the stuff that I have today can be found at Bedazzling Accessories. This is just a little bit of a snippet. A lot of my stuff um, you'll find are fun stocking stuffer pieces and they're really great for anybody, right? So I have this amazing handmade, excuse me, hand painted glass by Oliveri Art. Here's the bottom. Michael Oliveri paints all of his pieces. So this wine glass that you get from me, you're not gonna see anybody else with it. He'll do one and done. In addition to that, he also makes these really cool plates. Look at that. So these are great pieces that you can give to people for the holidays, especially people who you're not sure what their style is. Now, if you know you have people who are into um, accessories, not just home um, decor, I have these amazing, amazing earrings. They're teardrops. They're so fabulous. You can be the stunner at the party with these on. For that guy in your life, any guy, your husband, your partner, your you know brother, uncle, I have these my new babies who entered Bedazzling Accessories, which is fog and tree, hand crafted beard conditioner and beard oil. Here's the beard. These are made with hemp and CBD essential oils. They help your beard to grow. So we have I have not just Accessories, but I have things that are fun, yummy, and creative, one of a kind. So it's I also have body products and I also have accessories. So here is another bag. This is a great tote bag. Also made by Michael Oliveri. Hand painted. So you will be like the only person walking around with this. You can see the, the little designs that he makes. And once again, Michael makes pieces, I don't think I mentioned, Michael makes pieces for me, and then he also makes pieces on his own. A lot of designers that I work with at Be Dazzling that partner with me, they also have websites, so you get custom creative pieces that I curate and I have at Be Dazzling Accessories, but then you can also get different pieces from the designer themselves. So I have um, 
these pieces too to show you. They are exclusive turquoise and brass earrings. They're not heavy, they look heavy, but they're really, really, really light. Great for any outing or any gift that you want to give someone for the holiday season. My hand crocheted, my hand crocheted clutch bag made with leather. Such a great piece to get people to stop you. I guess on the street, people are still going out. I mean, I don't know if you're partying like you used to, but you do have some moments where you do walk to the market or do some sort of socially safe gatherings. And then I have a few vintage pieces. So I have this vintage brooch. I'm also a vintage collector too. So this is a great vintage brooch. So everything that I have is fantastic. It's one of a kind. I really try my best to curate and work with people that are just fantastic and easy to work with. And some of the designers like Michael and um, this designer, his name is Badmos, located, he's actually located in Nigeria. He did this custom clutch for me with the Ankara fabric. So some pieces, some designers will make actually just for me and they'll say, well, what can we do? What do you think that you know your customer would like? And then they'll go and they'll sew an amazing piece for um, my boutique. So I'm really, really lucky to work with amazing, amazing, amazing black and brown artists every single day. And once again, the Gasoline Accessories is located online and it's 24 hours. You can always shop with me. You can shop with me at 1 a.m. So I know a lot of people say, oh, we miss seeing you in person. You can definitely see me online. There's lots of amazing pictures of me. So you can feel like, um, you know, how it was when I was in Dumbo. So um, I don't know, do I have time anymore? I don't know how much time I have left, but um, you have to I also have hair masks. How much? I have time? Well, I'm going to just quickly uh, point out the, this, this amazing line, like I said, that just joined Gaslin Accessories with Fog and Tree. And Fog and Tree is based in California. It's an amazing woman-owned business. And she creates hemp and CBD products, uh, primarily beard oil. Uh, there's a great roller uh, fragrance and these amazing hair masks. I use the hair masks and they work so wonderfully and they help with my curls. So I hope to see you guys um, in a few minutes, but I will be joining back with uh, Wilbur. And then um, once again, see the bottom of that ticker? Go see me right when this is over at thedazzlingaccessories.com, www.thedazzling.com, thedazzlingaccessories.com. You can follow me on Instagram at thedazzling. You can shop with me on Instagram. You can shop with me on um, Facebook. So there's multiple ways that you can find the Dazzling Accessories. And if you haven't heard of me, go Google Velvet the Dazzling. So I can get you V-Dazzling, okay? See you in a few minutes. Wilbur. <laughs> yeah, a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, you know, of course, I love your store and I love what you do, and I'm so glad that you created this store to um, give us a space, a retail space to sell, and um, I really appreciate that. You know, Wilbur, I, I know that we have a few minutes, but I'm just so excited that. I had the opportunity to go to that event years ago with the, the fashion event where I met you. Actually, I met your husband, Lloyd. And I know a lot of people don't know, but I actually started out by selling your products in my boutique. And um, the rest is still, you're still stuck with me. I still do sell SK Wilbur pieces on thedazzlingaccessories.com. And it's been a pleasure all, all these years, five years, right? Wow. Yeah, it's fine. Time flies. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm grateful to Lloyd, actually. 
<laughs> and bringing us together. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. <laughs> so, so um, um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go back to um, to Lamont and yeah. see if we can get him on the screen and show off his fabulous jewelry. Yes. There he Lamont. is. There he is. Hey, so now y'all can hear me, correct? Yes. You sound Good. wonderful. So and thank you, you so great. much. For, oh, okay. thank you. And I have me in the background, I can see. <laughs> thank you so much for this opportunity. Again, my name is Lamont Ray. I'm the owner and designer for LamontRayHandmade.com. Um, I started the business close to five, five to six years ago, really just out of need of wanting like one of a kind uh, custom made pieces that can fit my hands. Um, most men will know that when it comes to finding accessories that we like, um, especially if we you know, want a bohemian type style, it's really hard for us to find pieces that fit us, especially rings. So that is why I decided to you know, not complain, but to go ahead and start designing and making my own pieces. Um, right now, here's a ring that I made maybe a month ago, and it's copper, it's hammered. You can see that there it has texture in it. Um, it's a forged design, meaning that the metal was heated and um, uh, basically manipulated so that it could shape into a ring. So I'm going to show you my work. Thank you so much for your, you know, your time. So this particular ring right here is a copper uh, chrysocolla ring. And you can see that it is textured and manipulated by hand. You can see the, uh, the, the texture of it. It's been hammered, shaped, uh, wire wrapped all by me. And my pieces tend to run in larger sizes between a size eight and a size 10. Here's a bracelet that I made. It's, it's a fold forge design and you can see the crevices. And it's a copper, it's a brass piece that's made out of a 22 gauge, meaning that, well, 20 gauge, meaning that it does have some weight to it, but it's still easy to wear. It's one of the pieces that I wear to work. Um, and it's very special to me. This copper bracelet, you can see it's also for design. You can see the crest, the crease in the middle. And if you look closely, you can see um, a, lines that are throughout the bracelet. And the lines were, of course, intentional as part of the design. And it's pure copper. And copper, if you don't know, copper really helps with circulation, blood circulation. So it's ideal if you're you know, an avid runner or if you're someone who works out and you want to make sure that you, know, you have the correct circulation in order to, do, to have a physical life. Um, it's an ideal piece. And all my pieces are signed by me. And so that, you know, you truly have an, a, a, a piece that's one of a kind that's made by uh, a designer. Here's another uh, piece. It's a brass agate ring. It has a kind of like a flower design. And this is also, again, forged and hammered all by myself. Um, it's, again, it's an agate stone. And also just wanted to make sure you under, you know that all of my uh, designs, I'm offering a 30% off for today only. If you type in the coupon code pop up, you will automatically get 30% off today only. Um, and that's not just with the pieces that I'm showing right now, but that's throughout my entire uh, website, all of my designs. Here is a copper and peridot bracelet. Hopefully you guys can really see. Um, it's basically, it's, it's copper, it's wire wrapped, and all of the stones are peridot. And there's another design that's available on my website. Here is a copper and um, lapis azuli uh, bracelet. It's a cuff, it's adjustable. Here I have a brass wire wrapped uh, cuff bracelet. And if you can look very closely, you'll see that each wire was hammered by myself. 
and is wrapped at the end using solder. And because the wire, the wire, the brake wire is only a 16 gauge, it's very comfortable to wear. And I'll show you some other rings that I've made. Hopefully you can see them all. This one here is another copper piece. It's copper and it's, uh, it's a, what's called a cold connection, meaning that it's held together by a grommet and it's adjustable. So it fits various sizes. And the, good, the key thing about my pieces is that they're, they're unisex. They're ideal for men as well as women because of the gauge of wire that I use to make them. This here is an affinity ring. It's made out of brass, pure brass. And again, you can see where it's hammered. There's texture to it. And I typically just work with metal, but every once in a while I'll need a little color, especially these days with, you know, dealing with the coronavirus and just needing that uh, more life into to the designs that I wear. So this one is a nickel silver ring. There are two stones that are in it. One is a carnelian, the other is a rose quartz. Uh, carnelian is a stone that's ideal for people who are artists. Hopefully you guys can see it. And the technique is a freeform technique. Basically, um, each stone that I choose, I basically I design around the stone. Here's another nickel silver ring made out of frenite as well as agate. Hopefully you all can see it. This is a brass, and I'm gonna take this ring off so I can actually show you how it looks. This is a brass infinity ring. This one is not adjustable. However, um, I do take custom orders. If any of the work that you see on here, and if you're not between an eight and a size 10, I can make the uh, design to fit your, your ring size. Um, and I can't work with you to figure out what your ring size is. The same uh, infinity ring, but this one is made out of copper. And again, uh, well, I don't think I mentioned this, but also copper is good with pulling out toxins from your body. Um, and usually that happens when a person wears copper and they talk about how it is leaving a ring around the finger. Uh, the reason why it's leaving a ring around the finger, it doesn't mean that something's wrong with the metal or that you're, or the metal or that you're allergic to it. But what it means is that you need, you're basically dehydrated and you need to you know, drink more water um, and that's usually when copper changes the color of your skin is because you are not uh, hydrated. And typically that's why you'll see it happen um, around the summertime. Here's another nickel silver freeform wire wrap ring. Uh, the stone is a purple quartz. I also have this design was inspired by it's a three modern, but then with a little twist of, of organic and freeform style. It's brass and copper. And you can see it. I do all of the antiquing by hand. You can see where there's portions of the, right behind the copper, you'll see where it's like the metal is darker. And you'll also see it with the brass. And that really just allows you to put the design to really elements of the design to stand out more. Just to see how it looks when it when it's on. And not only do I have my own website, but I'm also on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, um, on Etsy. So there are multitudes, a multitude of different outlets you can access in order to find me. How am I doing with time, Velvet and Wilbur? Go for it. We owe you time. We we want to hear about your pieces. You have a few more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Um, this is a copper convex bracelet. Uh, the gauge is about 22. 
And the reason why I chose, and you can see also uh, the texture, the hammering, all done by me. And if, I'm trying to focus in, but you can see where there are some lines in the middle that is intentional. Um, the, the bracelet is light. It's ideal for both men and women because of the design. I'm going to just put it on so you can see it. It's easy to adjust. Very simple to adjust. And this one I like for the fact that it can really work well with a, a you know, with business casual uh, attire because you can have this right next to your cuff shirt. Um, it's it's simple yet it it's so it's simple but it does have character and I can I can consider it a statement piece. And I specialize in statement pieces. Usually the people who shop from me are you know fellow artists, usually performers. Um, they definitely are looking for pieces that stand out on stage. Um, and then not only performers, but people who shop for me are, are definitely people who um, are not afraid to push the boundaries. And here is a another cuff, adjustable, and it is made from nickel silver. You can see the, the, the texture in the, in the cuff. This was all done by me. And I'm going to just turn it over so you can see the back. Very comfortable to wear, won't pinch your arm at all or your wrist at all because um, it, they have rounded corners. And I'm going to show you, um, you probably won't be able to see it, but like I mentioned before, all my pieces are signed by me. You probably can't see it, but you'll see there's a signature um, hand done, hand etched by myself. This is copper, of course, and you can see that the edge around the bracelet it has been hammered. Um, the rest of it is like a brushed copper, meaning that um, it's a much smoother texture. Um, it's been patinaed by me. Here's the same bracelet in brass. Here is another concave a convex actually uh, bracelet. This one is in brass. And the point of having a convex design is that it allows for a 3D aesthetic. You can see that it pops out. And again, a, a design that's ideal for both men and women. Lastly, I have this brass cuff. that actually has a, a slit in the middle, just to do have a different aesthetic. Um, this is a much thicker gauge of brass. It's around 20, I'm gonna say, it's actually no, it's 18 gauge. So it does have more weight, but more sturdiness. Again, it's a piece that has been signed by me. I'm just trying to show you where the signature is. And that's it. Uh, just to let you know, yes, I'm available on lamontrehandmade.com. Um, like I said, for today only, you have, uh, I'm offering a 30% off offer, and you can just use the coupon code pop up. You can get 30% off today only, and I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. And uh, thank you so much for your time, and enjoy the rest of the uh, designs. Thank you. Hey! Oh, it's a special guest. It's midnight. Hi, midnight. It's the assistant. Yes. So, um, we reached a halfway point, and we are going to take it right on back to Chantel Mickens at Doré Unlimited. Unmute yourself. Unmute. Hear me now? All right. Yay. We hear you. Hi again. Um, I'm Chantel Mickens. I'm the owner, designer, maker, administrator of uh, Dore Unlimited, a brand of genuine leather handbags that are all handcrafted one by one by yours truly. Um, as our last session, I ended off with a small introduction to uh, my newest creations where I'm using cow leather 
um, the fur printed cow in, in black and white. This crossbody is what started it off earlier. Again, here's my stripe. I, I just do that sometimes. And it's lined with an animal print, adjustable shoulder strap, really simple for every day or not for every day. Um, it's a great size. It measures 12 by 10. And it's got the cow fur and a nice wide padded shoulder strap. The next cow print bag is this messenger bag. This one has a stripe and some fringe. All fringe is hand cut. And also on the back, you have an exterior pocket and more cow print. And this one is lined with a bright purple bridal satin fabric. It's just gorgeous. We've got another exterior pocket. And here is animal print. And on the interior is a combination of all of it. And it's just so much fun. Four pockets in total. Another cow print, again, it's all hand cut fringe. This fringe is 10 inches all the way around, folks. So it's a lot of work. This bag is 14 inches wide and 12 inches tall with the cow fur on the nice, wide, comfy shoulder strap, which is adjustable. And it's also lined with the animal print combined with a black bridal satin and purple bridal satin. This bag is special order only right now. Um, two to three weeks for shipping. And the other two are ready to ship. Another thing in my work you'll see is that I like to combine um, different colors and, and textures and, um, you know, give the bag a really nice feel to go along with the look. So this year, I have this cranberry. This was very popular, and um, I'm pretty much down to the last of these skins. So um, unless I find it again, won't, the cranberry won't be available. Um, this crossbody is fringed on both sides with silver studs, a slip pocket in the back, and a really cute satin flower print. I don't know if you can see that there. There you go. The slip pocket on the back and the zippered pocket on the front or the other side. There you could get a better look at the lining. And then more pockets on the inside. The shoulder strap is accented with the snake pattern leather that's on the body. Cute back, cute back. I also, in that same combination, these two leathers just went so well together. Um, I have it as a satchel. Now this this bag, it's a really nice big bag. It's uh, 14 inches wide, 10 inches tall, and about six inches deep. It's got a little bit of fringe, the handle, exterior pockets, 
with the same satin flower pattern and a removable shoulder strap. So you can carry with just the handles. or over the shoulder and possibly cross body. The shoulder strap is adjustable. Experimenting with shapes and colors, I came up with this petal pattern where we have the snake leather and an assortment of black and, and also the cranberry in circles. And creating such a sort of a 3D scale pattern. And then hand sewn trim. And the flap is accented with a few more circles. I guess this is a real 2020 bag, huh? It's all over the place. A few more random circles on the back of the snake print. And the flower print satin as well on the interior of this bag. More pockets on the inside. We've got one slip pocket and one zippered pocket. It's a really cool crossbody. It's 10 inches wide, about eight inches tall, with an adjustable shoulder strap, and ready to go. So I've I've gone through um, all of the pieces that I created that um, I intended to well, that I have posted online that are available. Um, as I mentioned in the first round, everything today is 40% off. Um, you can purchase only at www.dorayunltd.com for the sale, 40% um, today only. And there will be additional discounts now through December 13th, which will be my last shipping day before Christmas. Um, I, I'm not going to attempt to ship anything after December 13th, um, probably take a small break, um, and then get back at it, uh, just in time for New Year's, Valentine's Day. Um, so, uh, my best bet is you hop on anything that you see, um, now, today, Small Business Saturday, um, we've, all of, of my fellow designers have, have shown you some really, really cool pieces. And I, I hope you guys uh, go online and start clicking around and shop. Um, I do want to take a minute to show you some of the things that um, I, I, I decided to make that were just out of maybe a feeling and or it's just something for me. Um, it, even though, you know, I like the colors and the patterns and so on, I am a really kind of more on the plain side, but I still would like to know that, uh, you know, my bag is unique. My bag is one of a kind and it's just for me. Um, this fringe bag, I have a very similar one available on the website now, but it's not this one. Um, this is a combination satchel shoulder bag with a black basket weave leather and fringe just all over the place for no reason. It's just fringe. Uh, we've got fringe on the first half of the shoulder straps fringe on the front, fringe on the back, fringe on the sides, an exterior zippered pocket, and a really cute floral pattern interior. She's really big, 16 inches wide, about eight inches tall, 
and uh, five inches deep. I like to carry a lot of stuff. Comfort shoulder strap. It's nice and wide, inch and a half wide with this soft napa leather in black. So it's kind of feels kind of spongy and it's very comfortable on the shoulder. I use silver finish. And it's a black bridal satin interior along with the floral pattern. So being that I'm a maker, when I say it's my favorite, it's most likely mine. And um, like I said, I will, um, I do have a similar design available uh, on the website. But this one is just special. If I could show you with the silver. One last one um, that uh, I'd like to show you. Yes, I like black and I like big bags. And this one, it's sort of Star Trekky. I made these really cool cuffs at the, sh at the shoulder strap base. Nice wide two inch strap, really comfortable and soft. This is lambskin, so this leather just, just hugs you. Um, it's a big bag, a lot of space, very light. Really cool, whimsical interior with an exterior pocket. And uh, just lots of fun. How am I doing on time, guys? You had a minute left, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can do a closing if you okay. want. Okay. Um, just really quickly, I'll take that minute to let you know. I also have something for the fellas. And a number of wallets. These are all made by yours truly. Navy blue pebble grain leather. With a really subtle cranberry and navy print and slotted pockets. They come in a variety of interiors in brown, rustic brown. Olive green. And again, the blue pebble grain leather. So um, that's it, guys. And thank you for watching. Um, hope to hear from you online today. And back to you, Wilbur and Velvet. Chantel, your, that was great. Your level of craftsmanship is so sophisticated, so wonderful. Yeah, your pieces are fire. That black and white cow is everything. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it. I also love that that wallet. I think I'm going to be texting you for the pebble wallet for a Christmas gift. That's just, I mean. Wow. Well, everyone's talented. Um, and so I'm proud of you all. But let's go back to our amazing, talented uh, Sebastian in the woods yes. somewhere. 
Yeah, I'm still out here. I'm, um, I'm actually losing daylight coverage, as you can see. So I'm going to keep it quick before the critters come out. But I would like to share a few, a la a few last pieces. And um, I'll start with the African Ankh collection. So in the last few months, I've gotten a lot of requests for um, African and Kemetic symbols, especially um, Egyptian symbols like the Ankh. So I have a new collection showcasing those. And I'll start with the red tiger's eye bracelet with the Ankh charm in brass, and then the Ankh ring in stainless steel with the gold plate. And I also have it in um, silver and, um, and in sterling. So what the Ankh is, for anyone who doesn't know, it's the African version of the Christian cross. So it's, if you notice the shape of it at the top, there is a circle so they call it a cross with the handle and it represents um, femininity or the design feminine because it's curvy instead of straight and masculine but um, the bottom part and the arms are straight so they represent masculinity and then the top or the the loop represents femininity so it is um, a symbol of balance or of union between masculine and feminine Whereas the Christian cross is um, all masculine. It's all straight with no curves. So um, it's not necessarily male and female, but um, masculine and feminine energy. And that's what I love about it. A lot of people have expressed interest in it. And we have not only this piece, but five other members of the collection that are online at boybeads.com. And I have a few other pieces as well that are one-offs. So I'll show you the brown bronzite. And this stone originated in Greece and Rome in the ancient days. And it was worn for the suppression of um, mental illnesses and for nightmares, well, to protect from mental illnesses and nightmares. And I've added um, a coffee bag symbol and coffee beans for my coffee lovers. And I know it's getting dark out here, so I will keep it quick. Again, if you go to my website, boybeads.com, and use the coupon code ATLAS, A-T-L-A-S, you'll get 20% off of any order from today until December 12th. So from today to December 12th, boybeads.com, use the coupon code ATLAS, A-T-L-A-S, and there is free shipping anywhere in the U.S., I want to thank everybody for tuning in and thank you Wilbur and Velvet for organizing all of this. It really means a lot to get us all together like this. We're back. <laughs> I can't hear you Velvet. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's the part of this whole Zoom and virtual culture that I haven't gotten back yet. I try to be polite and mute out calls, and then I realize, oh, I'm still yeah. muted. Anyway, um, uh, I basically was saying how amazing that whole experience was looking at Sebastian's background. I think it was just a breath of uh, fresh air, something Little. new, and I thought that Little. that was <laughs> Yes! <laughs> so um, let's talk about SK, honey. SK, we, we, we really, really, you have set the bar so high for pop culture handbags. You are truly a handbag architect. And so let's talk about a little bit more of some of the products that, or maybe any cold coupon codes or the rest of the sales that you might be um, giving for the holiday season. Wilbur? Before we even go there, I just want to mention that I absolutely love the aesthetic of Chantel Mickens, who does Doré Unlimited, and of Evelyn Rivera, who does um, Everett Handbag of Pure Genius. We're very different in our aesthetic, but um, I think that there's room for all of us. And so those sisters do a wonderful job on their um, individual um, 
bag lines and I just want to give them uh, a shout out because they're, they're just wonderful. Um, so moving forward with SK Wilbur, um, <clears throat> I am inspired by pop culture. I'm inspired by artists like Warhol, like Basquiat, like Lichtenstein. Um, as you can see behind me on this side, it's the lie, no lies bag. And that was very Warholian and actually a little bit of Jackson Pollock in there too with, with the paint drips. So this bag, the no lies bag, because we we are coming out of a uh, period of, um, what was it called? Um, alternative facts. And um, this was my response to that whole alternative facts situation. No lies. Um, everything is hand cut. And um, then the little purse that comes with it, um, I hand painted no lies across the whole thing, front and back. And um, red is my favorite color, just in case you, you want to get me something in red <laughs> for the holiday. <laughs> and um, there's, there's a pocket on the inside, along with the stuffing, of course. And there's that funky lining, um, the black and white lining. I was uh, motivated to use this black and white lining because um, the truth is always in black and white. Sometimes there's a gray area, but when it came to this particular era in the White House, um, gray turned to brown. And so um, I just want to point out that black and white was inspired by truth. Um, this from my um, collection, Future Past, once again, inspired by the 80s and the 90s. It is a fanny pack and um, it's all leather. It's hand painted with the hype word on it. And, um, you know, it's good. I, I would wear something like this around the track when I was exercising, trying to get rid of that COVID-17 weight that I had put on. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> but at any rate, I was looking cute on the track. My next piece is also from the Authentic Collection. And this is a giant, massive messenger bag. It is black canvas. It has two turn lock closures that open to, once again, the black and white lining. There's a zipper. I mean, you can fit a multitude, a multitude of sins into this bag. It is absolutely wonderful. Carry it when you are traipsing around the city and need to do a lot of stuff, or it's great for the weekend. Um, it is genuine. Once again, pointing to authentic, pointing to truth, pointing to facts. And also there is a pocket on the back, a snap closure pocket. Now this was kind of labor intensive, not just because of the size, but because this is hand painted, the genuine is hand painted. And I had to do like six coats of white acrylic paint to make it look this way. So that's genuine. Over here is part of the anger management collection. Um, you see it's got the acronym STFU. If you don't know what that means, you better ask somebody and, and they'll tell you. Um, this bag was the first one that I completed for the collection. It's lined in leather, navy leather and canvas. All of them come with a dust cover also that keeps it elevated and fabulous. 
So this is um, a cognac cow leather with a cobalt leather with a tangerine cow hide. It's all colorful and statement making for sure. This is actually one of the images from the campaign that we did for anger management. It was shot by Douglas Overton. It features um, women in queen-like stances, giving us warrior vibes. And if you look real closely, you'll see that my work husband, Velvet, is featured in that photograph. And last but not least is the WTF padded denim tote. It comes with these cute little attachments that spell out W, T, and F. Another acronym, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. But keep in mind that this is the anger management collection. So this also is done in different denims. So it's a patchwork. And then I did this wonderful thing on the bottom. It's a leather strip with the feet to keep it from getting dirty. That said, I just want to remind everybody that this sale that I'm doing today is going on all day long until 11.59 tonight. If you have not purchased anything, but you still want to purchase it, um, you can purchase it by 11.59 tonight um, for up to 50% off. After 11.59 tonight, it may still be available, but you will not get that discount. So today is the day, make the leap, click that button, shop, buy, support, skwilber.com. And I think that's it for today. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and um, I hope you support. So let's come back. Hey, Wilbur. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we are almost near the home stretch. Is it is. Exciting? Wow. So um, let's shoot over to the fabulous Brown Steva. Evelyn. Hello, hello. So welcome back, everybody. Um, there's such fabulous things. Um, um, Chantel, I agree with Bobby, your craftsmanship is, is crazy. And Wilbur, that oversized, genuine bag is everything. Like, I love it. That is like all me. Um, so I wanted to sort of give a last roundup of um, Everett Handbags of Pure Genius. I just wanted to give a little background on how I even got started in this. Um, I've always loved fashion. Um, thank you to my mother. I don't know if anyone can really see that picture very well. Probably, barely not. Um, well, it was my mom and my dad. Um, and that was a picture of me with both of them at my sister's ninth grade graduation. So that's how far back we're going. We're not going to talk about that. But anyway, um, watching my mom and my dad when they used to get dressed for parties or dances or whatever it was called back then. They didn't do clubs like that, they had dances. But just watching my mom, she would put on her lashes and she put on her wig or her hair piece or her bag and her heels and the match, everything was matchy, so just elegant and classy and timeless and just watching the both of them. And I didn't realize how much of it stuck with me until I got older and started sort of, you know, getting into my own sense of style and everything. So that's sort of where this came from in the handbag thing. Um, you know, my mom unfortunately passed away some years ago, but I kept a lot of her bags. And so that kind of inspired me with some of these, even though the styles are a bit different, but just the handbag part of it is, is just stuck with me. So I just wanted to share, um, this is another variation of the um, red, the handbag that has the red paint on it. That I mentioned this is another variation of that one. This is just all white with a little little key, little extra little something, something cute little thing on the end of that. Um, again, it has it can have a zipper. This one does not, but it can be put on. You can see most of my styles on Everib on Instagram or contact me through Everib if you see something here today that you like. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to show is um, sort of similar when we're on the oversized um, topic is one of my other favorites is oversized camo bag. Um, this again was something that came out of an accident. I had a lot of fabric left over and I was folding it over to determine what size bag I was gonna make and it folded over into this. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. So I use this bag like constantly. I have a zipper in it. It's, it's super deep inside. You know, you can put just about any and everything in it. Um, and making sure you, it's oversized, it makes a statement. Um, I've gotten so many compliments on this bag, um, which I appreciate. So in sticking with the um, sort of oversized theme, um, just a few months back, I created in the, 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 the boredom of being in quarantine, I'll say, um, created this oversized little gem. I had some patent leather, brown leather um, laying around and I decided to create something and created, again, yet another oversized, has the zipper inside. Um, this is also has a bit of a wrist guard. So you can, once you put your stuff in, you can kind of hold it like that if you choose to. I put some little red paint around the edges because again, I was like, it needs a little pop and I decided to do the whole red paint this, but this again is another one of my favorites. Um, this is the only one that I have, but if you're interested in this, it can be ordered. So just let me know. Um, and another um, oversized piece, I was in oversized mode, is this uh, black lambskin leather with um, sort of overlay with the cowhide underlay underneath as sort of two, a two level, two dimensional flap sort of thing. And this I love, I kept the leather in its raw stage, which is what I continue to love. Um, this has a, this does not have a zipper, but again, can be added, but you may not necessarily need it, but you can put as much stuff in there as you want. Still is cute, the shape remains. You put it under your arm, you keep it moving. I love this, it's super soft, it's super sexy. Um, it's dressed up or down. Um, I, just, I just love this, these are one of my favorites. And um, sort of in the vein of, of COVID, I began making um, masks. So with that said, you know, I made, um, again, with the contrast, one side is denim, the other side is a colorful fabric, and even the parts that go around your head and, and, and neck, how you tie it, I even contrasted those. These are like camel um, ties here and denim ties here. So. Not that I'm making um, too many matching masks with the bags because we're hoping we have to be in these masks for much longer than another year or so. But um, since we are here, these are some of the masks that I've made. I also have some smaller ones that go over um, your mouth and your mouth and nose with the elastic piece around the ear. So those are, if you need to accessorize with your mask in your bag, that can be done too. Um, I can make a mask with a leather trim if you want. I didn't really make a leather mask because I wasn't quite sure if anybody could breathe through that. So I didn't want to start doing that. So, but, um, and then one other piece, again, I mentioned the pillow inserts. This is another pillow insert that I just made the other day. Um, and this is another, a different style from the first one that I showed you. But again, you put the pillow inside, pillow insert is inside. So you have the option to, to interchange if you want to interchange covers. Um, these covers can be made in whatever color leather you want. Throw them on your bed, throw them on your uh, cool chair. You know, it's a, definitely a statement piece. Um, you can put them in a dining room if you choose, depending on what kind of dining you have, if you're going for a different look. Like I'm, I'm a big believer in um, certain things that look like they're supposed to be for one thing, don't necessarily have to be for that one thing. So. Pillows can be wherever you want them to be. The inserts can be wherever you want them to be. I'm eventually um, hoping to make um, some home lines where I make uh, napkins and placemats and things like that. But right now it's all in bags. And just re showing you some of the other ones that I've made before. Um, the oversized denim um, uh, jeans out of jeans with the leather, the back pocket, very cool. Um, Leather, flips, leather flap, the lining zipper inside, and the contrasting lining here. Um, this is ready to be sent out if this is something you're interested in. Um, so please let me know. Again, I also have the fanny pack that is either this one or this one. That can be fanny pack, AKA clutch. So, because you have the openings on the back where you would put the straps through 
But if not, you can use it as a clutch. Um, so please let me know if that interests you as well. Um, okay. And we also have the different variations of the smaller clutches with this, with the little hardware on the, in the corner. These are the little more plainer ones, but you have the, the wristlet right here. On this one, you also have uh, a smaller one that has a bit of a wristlet as well. This is the denim with the cowhide flap. Um, I also have my the small business card holders with the linings inside. These are very handy, just throw in your bag. And I also want to say that these bags are also multi unique sex, multi sex. I don't I don't know what the, the political term is these days, but anybody can use them. It's not just specifically for women, it's not just specifically for men. You can do whatever you want with them. They are definitely can be used by anyone. So um, please keep that in mind. Um, and again, I have the little, my little girly purse, as I call it that, that you have a little handle, um, lining inside, throw your stuff in, keep it moving. And as well as the um, flat, the pouch, little pouch that goes over the belt that you can put your Metro card in or a credit card or just some money and keep moving and you don't have to think about it. And I think I've shown you um, most of my pieces that I made. Um, I don't know where I am on time. Um, I hope I don't have like an hour left. <laughs> no, you're done. Okay. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Please support. Um, again, reach me at EvRiv on Instagram. Um, if you're interested in anything you saw today, let me know. I'm happy to talk to you about it and custom make something for you or send something to you, and we I will definitely give you a good price. So thank you, and have a great holiday. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Velvet, I think it's your turn, girl. Yes, no need for introduction. We've been down this road already. So, okay, guys, um, really quickly, I forgot to mention that I also have a coupon code. Uh, if you go to my website, which you see running across below, bedazzlingaccessories.com, once you make a purchase, Right at that checkout point, you put in Small Business Saturday, Small Biz, that's B-I-Z, SAT, S-A-T, that stands for Saturday. And I will give you a 40% discount off of all the products that you see here and everything that you see at the website. So I look forward to seeing you at my website. Um, I guess there is a few things that I didn't hit on. Uh, I, too, have non-gender specific products. Like I said, these amazing, like I was telling some of you guys earlier, these amazing wine glasses, hand-painted by Michael Alvarez. You see the bottom? And then there's, this is so amazing. He hand-paints them all. So it actually makes your dinner party interesting. And if you have a person who is, um, a person who likes to host parties or events at their home, especially now with um, what's going on in the world with uh, the pandemic, if you want to look great on your Zoom call and have your glass, these are the kind of glasses you want, a stunner statement piece at the dinner table. I also have, I didn't, but these necklaces over here, this top necklace is a vintage, um, chunky gold uh, brass. It's gold filled, but it's a gold necklace. And the bottom over here is a fun, accentuated thing. It's not, you know, it's an inspired gemstone necklace. So that's that over here. I told you guys about my men's CBD, hemp, beard oil, um, men's cologne, and I also have a um, men's conditioner and a hair mask. And I didn't get to talk about these lovely rings. I'm going to show them all to you. So these rings were made exclusively for bedazzling accessories by an artist named Jane Gordon. She only made these for my store. They're different precious gemstones and they're adjustable. So it's not, um, you don't have to worry about your ring size. See, you can, oh here, that's closer. You can open it to the size that you'd like. If you want to make it smaller, larger, you can, and it's very comfortable. This is surgical steel, and then this ring is actually, where is the camera? 
Okay, there. Yeah. That's this is J with surgical steel. Okay. I also wanted to show you these fabulous earrings that I have. I didn't get to talk about these. These were handmade actually for our, my boutique. I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to put one on maybe. So I try to get really unique pieces so that people can feel like they're having fun. You know, fashion is fun. It's not serious. It should not be serious. You should feel good, look good. And any accessory that you decide to purchase in general, not just when you buy from me. Can you see these? So they're really cool. They're super light and comfortable. And you'll definitely be a standout on your Zoom call, at a party, or gathering, or not really partying anymore. But this is gold plated. And these are actually also on sale. 40% off at my website. There you go. And last but not least, I have this teeny mini, not teeny mini, but it's a fun clutch made with Ankara fabric. I was telling you about my artist, Badmos, who is located in Nigeria. He creates the products for me. Um, we have like back and forth discussions about what I think my customer would like. And I think this is super cute. It's one of a kind. I only have one available. So if you grab it this weekend, it'll be 40% off using small bin at bigasmanaccessories.com. Oh, I forgot to mention this one before we go. This stunner that I'm wearing is by one of our Bada, um, our Bada members. Her name is Angela Mall. It's handmade, hand woven. Let's see if I can get closer so you can see it. Hand woven. It's really easy, just a simple knot, and um, made exclusively for Vidazzling Accessories, and she's a Bada member. So that's some of the pieces that I have. All of these goodies, once again, can be found at Vidazzling Accessories. They're all one of a kind, they're all fun, and they're all made by people of color. So come on, get with it, shop at VidazzlingAccessories.com, and then, as you can see it below, I'm located also on Instagram, on Facebook. You can Google me. I am everywhere. So when people say, I don't know how to find you, I'm on all of the black directories, like official Black Wall Street, black, um, directory shops. No more excuses, guys. You, There are ways that you can shop and support black designers, black small businesses. You can Google to find a black tailor. You can Google to find a black um you know, coffee shop, you can Google any of these things today. So when people say they're not really sure and they want to support, well, there you go. Use Google. Okay, so I'm not sure if my time is up, but that is my PSA. You should definitely be running out and shopping black. It should be 365 days. It should just not be for um, political moments in time. It should be consistent because when you fund small black entrepreneurs you help communities to grow and you show that the dollars count and the dollars do count but they usually get shown through target and other big brands so come on and shop with lamont come on and shop with evelyn shop with sk shop with Chantel, and shop with sebastian and me so will work okay yeah. i think that i think that's it let's bring all of our designers back on please Woo Did we lose Sebastian? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, he out there in the woods. <laughs> okay. So it was a pleasure working with you guys. Um, thank you for being a part of Black Accessory Design Alliance. Um, like Velvet said, Find Chantal Mickens, Dore Unlimited. Find Evelyn at Everett Handbags of Pure Genius. Find Lamont Ray, Handmade. Find Sebastian with Voidies. All of us are out here um, working it, and we want you to work it with us. So support us, 
buy from us, tell your friends about us, tell your wife, tell your kids, tell everybody for this holiday season and beyond to buy black, shop small, and support your community. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. See you online. Bye. Take care, Bye. everyone. Thank you. So let's dance to our holiday music, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Luca, please. Go on. Maestro. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess no holiday music. Okay. <laughs>